Ever wondered how to perfectly model from an image reference in Blender? Whether you're recreating a Nike logo or tracing your next masterpiece, using reference images is a game changer. So let's break it down, quick, simple, and with no unnecessary confusion. First, open Blender and add the image as a reference image. But wait, it's floating in some random direction? No worries, just rotate it into place. You can do this manually using R to rotate or for precise alignment. Press N to open the side panel. Go to item and enter these values. X equals 90, Y equals 0, Z equals 90. Now it's perfectly aligned to our view. No more eyeballing angles. Next, let's start modeling. First, add a plane. It's lying flat, so let's fix that. Press R, Y, 90 to rotate it, then press G, Z to move it upwards and align it with the image. Now press S to Y to scale it along the Y axis. To make this easier, press the X-ray icon at the top of the viewport. This lets you see through the model and position the vertices perfectly. Art. Press Tab to enter Edit Mode, and let's start shaping. Then press G to move the vertices, carefully aligning them to match the logo. Add some loop cuts for better control, then press G to move the vertices, carefully aligning them to match the logo. Keep pressing G and adjusting until everything follows the reference. It's looking decent, but let's take it up a notch. Press S to X to zero to straighten all vertices along the X axis because clean geometry is satisfying. Now for that smooth professional finish, add a subdivision surface modifier. And just like that, we have a clean, smooth and accurate low poly model from a reference image. But wait, one last thing. Let's give it some thickness so it doesn't look like a sticker. Press tab to go to edit mode, Press A to select all vertices, then press E to extrude and give it a little depth. Now it's looking like a perfect logo. If this tutorial helped, hit that subscribe button, or I'll rotate your reference image randomly by 37 degrees just to mess with you. Comment below what tutorial you want next, and I'll see you in the next one.